What's going on everyone? Moose here again with uh, Air Guns of Michigan. And today we already shot our video on the Huntsman Revere, but I want to do a second video specifically on this Hawk Frontier 34 millimeter, three power to eight power by 50 millimeter objective. And just talk about how amazing of an optic this is. So listen, we, I've, man, I've had all kinds of scopes. I have all kinds of scopes. And the other day I was out at high pressure pneumatics and um, Matt from Hawk happened to be there. And uh, Matt said, hey, have you guys seen or heard about this new Frontier Scope 34 millimeter tube that we came out with? And, um, and we were both like, no. And he was like, let me go get it and let me show it to you. And he brought it in and I'm gonna tell you, if you've never, if you've never dealt with Hawk or had a Hawk optic, they are incredibly well built. They, you know, I mean, and I will say this, made in China, but has the same glass that like you would get with a Leopold or anything else of that matter. Um, just very, very clear glass. We're going to actually hook up the Eagle Vision uh, scope cam to it. And uh, I'm going to stretch it out to past 100 yards. We're going to try to get it all set up so that you guys can see the video imagery of uh, what this optic looks like. We're going to rotate through the daylight and um, beyond for the, um, the illumination because I was blown away by the illumination that uh, this optic actually has in daylight. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. Um, the turrets are uh, push-pull, uh, has a rotating zero stop, um, just a, an absolute great solid clicking, a little bit of wiggle in there, but nothing major, very positive clicks. Um, the um, um, parallax wheel, it is side focus, goes from 15 yards to infinity. So it's got 15, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 200, 300, 500, and infinity. And uh, it's very, very, very smooth. It's incredibly smooth. Uh, like I said, these turrets are very positive clicking. They do um, have zero stops. I believe, I don't know if this one has a zero stop, but the top definitely has a zero stop. Uh, you release the uh, three um, Allens, loosen them up, pull the cap off, and you can set your zero stop. Uh, the um, magnification ring is not stiff, but it's gonna stay where you put it. And uh, it's very, very smooth. No noise at all coming out of it. The, um, the uh, die opper is just absolutely buttery smooth, uh, locks into place, has a locking ring as well. So once you get it where you want it, you can lock that thing in. Nice, solid aluminum caps. Uh, I took the one off the rear just so that my uh, Eagle Vision can slide over that but uh, opens up perfectly, stays at, you know, 90, you know, 180, and then all the way back. So, you know, I like it at 90 because it kind of gives it a little bit of a sunshade. It does actually come with a sunshade as well, um, but uh, overall, just a, a joy. So I'm gonna move the box over here. We're gonna grab our camera and slide it on the scope. I'm gonna turn it on, make sure it's all adjusted. And then uh, we're gonna set a point out there and um, try to get this thing to record some good video for you guys. And uh, we'll go from there. Let me see if I can get this thing to come back on, hopefully. Come on. You were on earlier. I know your battery didn't go dead. Ugh, GoPro 7s, inherent problems. Sorry guys, bear with me. I want to be able to show you guys this. Pull your battery out, put it back in. Should turn back on now. Ta-da, imagine that. Uh, can't wait for uh, Eagle Vision to uh, come out with their, can I get off the screen? Uh, come out with their uh, one for the Hero 10. I'm gonna end up buying one. 
Oh, cap sound like, uh oh, it's not working. There we go. Let's make sure our crosshairs are lined up. Tighten this puppy up. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and, and uh, get this thing focused on something pretty far out there. Definitely want to uh, showcase this. So let's go ahead and start our video. You guys should see it now. Make sure it's recording, and it is. This is at three power. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the, the radical, but we'll go ahead and start turning on the illumination. Excuse me, still getting over this cough. Let's see if we can get it up. That's full power on illumination at three power. Let's start bringing it in. You guys should be able to, hopefully you guys are seeing that crosshair anyway, but uh, we're gonna keep bringing it in. We're right at about 110 yards back there. Still growing, still growing. And it should all be coming into focus now. You guys can see just how dirty that reticle is. Let's shut off the illumination. And then let's go ahead and put it down on the sand or on the, there you go. We'll set it at the 100 yard steel down there. And uh, we'll go ahead and light up the illumination again. Uh, I can see it. I don't know how bright that is for you guys, but it definitely makes a difference. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and slowly bring out the magnification again. So you guys can see just how, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I feel a coughing fit coming on. I apologize. But you can see just how, <clears throat> excuse me, far out that zoom goes. And uh, yeah, you can still see it. And I mean, honestly, I mean, being out there, I mean, I could easily, you know, see this scope working very, very well uh, to uh, all kinds of different uh, bandages. If you could see those dots on the, uh, how dirty that reticle is, I love that. Gives you lots of uh, options for, you see the dots over there on the side and uh, for windage and elevation. But uh, what a superbly built optic. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and, you know what? Let me see if I can get up into the trees. There we go. There, look at that. So that tree is probably 100. Uh, I'll bet you we're at about 120 yards. There you go. There's some illumination up in the tree. And we can obviously turn it down. It is steps. It's on, off, on, off from lowest to brightest. Uh, there's the brightest, rotating it back. There's some illumination, but you're not even gonna be able to see that until we get up into the, the higher stuff in the daytime. But uh, once again, zooming out, just how clear that glass is. It's so clear, you guys. It really is so clear. But uh, yeah, I mean, to snipe a squirrel or whatever, or a deer, I mean, that thing is just absolutely spot on. And even with the black radical, I can see that pretty darn well. Um, you know, there's lots of, uh, you know, steps in there. But, uh, you know, that tree is definitely about 100 and 130 yards or so. I don't really have anything else to uh, compare to. But uh, you can just see the quality um, of that optic, in my opinion. And uh, hopefully you guys will check them out. You can check them out at, uh, I think uh, the website is hawkoptics.com. Uh, like I said, this is the Frontier 34, first focal plane, 3 to 18 by 50, side focus, IR, um, MOA Pro um, EXT Radical. It also comes in uh, MRAD and... You can actually get the same scope. I believe it is five to 30 power. So I can tell you that I'm probably gonna pick one of these things up and I'm probably gonna do the five to 30 power. Um, I just think that is just an absolute outstanding uh, range for an optic. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy, um, you know, checking these things out if you uh, haven't already. Let me uh, stop that. And uh, 
we'll uh, see you guys next time. So till then, I'm Moose. This is Airguns Michigan. This is the Hawk Frontier 34 first focal plane. Check it out. We'll see you guys later. Be good. God bless.